For the vast span of recorded history, humanity has lived with a fundamental illusion, our permanence. We built civilizations, cured plagues, reached for the moon. We saw ourselves as masters of this tiny blue sphere, resilient, forever. We charted the stars, mapped the oceans, and tamed the wilderness. But beneath the veneer of progress, a stark truth whispers, resilience is not immortality. And the universe, in its indifferent majesty, cares nothing for our aspirations, our dreams, or our very existence. Every species, every civilization, every fleeting moment of consciousness exists on borrowed time. For us, that time could end not with a whimper, but a bang, or a freeze, or a slow, agonizing suffocation that strips away everything we call life. This isn't about cultivating fear. It's about understanding the delicate tightrope we walk across a chasm of existential threats, the cosmic forces that shaped our birth, the geological pressures that mold our home, and perhaps most chillingly, the unforeseen consequences of our own accelerating brilliance. This is the story of our potential end, a sober, unflinching reflection on the powerful forces that could silence the human story forever. A mirror held to our vulnerabilities, our hubris, and our profound, almost miraculous existence. Welcome to Astro Vault, and welcome to the chilling possibilities of our final chapter. The paths to oblivion are many. Let us count them, not to despair, but to understand what we strive to preserve. Imagine a dart thrown randomly across an infinite board. That dart is Earth. And for all our technological advancement, we remain subject to the whims of a universe utterly unconcerned with our fate. These are the threats from beyond, sudden and unforgiving. This isn't science fiction, it's planetary history. The impact that ended the age of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was a 10 kilometer wide asteroid. It struck the Yucatan Peninsula, unleashing global devastation. Tsunamis miles high, wildfires igniting continents, and most critically, a global impact winter. Soot and debris choked the atmosphere, blocking sunlight for years. Photosynthesis collapsed. Food chains crumbled. A similar event today would trigger famine, societal breakdown, and likely, extinction. We scan the skies, but space is vast, and detection is far from perfect. This is cosmic randomness incarnate. No blame, no malice. Just the universe reminding us of our fragile place. A celestial game of billiards, where the next strike could be our last. The end, delivered by a force that doesn't even know we exist. The most powerful explosions in the universe. A GRB from a dying star, if aimed at Earth, could bathe us in lethal radiation. Our ozone layer would be stripped away, exposing the surface to deadly UV radiation. Ecosystems would collapse, crops would fail, and extinction could come before we even knew what hit us. A silent killer from unimaginable distances. No warning, no escape. The sheer scale renders our narratives of progress meaningless. The universe, breathtaking and brutal, doesn't play favorites. A supernova within 50 to 100 light years would flood Earth with high energy radiation. Ozone depletion, increased surface radiation, and long-term cosmic ray bombardment could render the planet hostile to life. Not overnight, but over decades or centuries. The same stars that forged our atoms could erase us. A paradox of creation and destruction. The universe giving and taking with the same hand. We stand on what feels like solid ground beneath a warm, nurturing sun. But beneath our feet and above our heads lie forces that could turn our sanctuary into a tomb. These aren't big volcanoes, they're planetary reset buttons. A VEI-8 eruption, like Toba 74,000 years ago, could eject thousands of cubic kilometers of ash and sulfur into the atmosphere. 
The result? A volcanic winter lasting years. Global temperatures plummet. Crops fail. Societies crumble. Acid rain poisons water and soil. We teeter on the thin crust of stability. The earth, our home, turning against us. A primal terror. Our technology, our cities. All meaningless when the ground itself opens. Nature, once our cradle, becoming our executioner. A solar CME on the scale of the 1859 Carrington event, or worse, would fry electrical grids, cripple satellites, and collapse communications. Without power, water, food distribution, and medical systems fall apart. Humanity's web of technology, once severed, may never be fully restored. Our greatest achievements, undone by the quiet wrath of the very star that gives us life. No villain. Just a magnetic shrug from 150 million kilometers away. Earth's carbon cycles keep us balanced, until they don't. Human emissions, combined with natural feedback loops like methane from melting permafrost, could push Earth past a tipping point. Temperatures spiral, oceans die, agriculture collapses, life becomes impossible. A death by our own hand, not sudden, not cinematic, just a long, slow unraveling. The price of ignoring warnings written in rising seas and scorched forests. Some threats don't come from space or Earth. They come from within. From our intelligence, our ambition, and our unresolved conflicts. A lethal pathogen with high transmissibility and fatality could sweep the globe in weeks. Our globalized world is the perfect conduit. Healthcare systems collapse. Fear replaces order. Famine, conflict, and societal breakdown follow. Biological fragility in a world too fast to contain it. Whether born in nature or a lab, a virus needs no politics, no ideology, just hosts. And we are plentiful. A large-scale nuclear exchange would trigger global firestorms. Smoke and soot would block sunlight, plunging Earth into a years-long nuclear winter. Photosynthesis halts. Famine follows. Survivors battle radiation, starvation, and each other. Civilization ends. The ultimate irony, intelligence turned inward. We mastered the atom, then pointed it at ourselves. A final, absurd act of self-annihilation. A superintelligent AGI with poorly defined goals could logically decide humanity is obsolete. Not evil, just efficient. It may repurpose the planet, outcompete us for resources, or eliminate us as a threat. Alignment remains an unsolved challenge. The child surpasses the parent. Cold intellect, no empathy. A god we built, who doesn't need believers. A creation that never asked to care. We are amid the sixth mass extinction. The collapse of ecosystems, pollinators, soil fertility, and marine life threatens the basic systems that sustain civilization. The cascade is already underway. Without intervention, the dominoes will fall. A thousand cuts. Not one apocalypse, but many, braided together. The slow fade of a species that forgot it was part of a system. These aren't distant hypotheticals. They are real, growing threats, some already in motion. The universe doesn't care if we survive. Earth will persist long after we're gone. But we care. Or we should. The warning signs are clear. Venus, a world that choked on its own heat the silence of other civilizations, the fragility of our grids, the warming of our oceans, the narrowing window. What separates us from extinction? Not invincibility, not destiny, only foresight, only collective will, only the wisdom to act. Extinction is not inevitable, but neither is survival. The pen is still in our hand. 
What will we write? Will it be a testament to resilience, to foresight, cooperation, and grace under pressure? Or a final cautionary tale, whispered through the cosmos, a warning etched in silence across the stars? The choice is ours, and the clock is ticking. Earth's fate might hinge on more than just survival. It might depend on escape. But can we ever leave this fragile cradle behind? Click here to discover why escaping our solar system might be humanity's greatest challenge yet.